what is going on everyone judson here and welcome back to the channel i hope all of you guys are having a great day i hope you guys are staying safe once more but in today's video we've got quite a lot to talk about i know a lot of you guys coming into this video have quite a lot of questions and i'm I, i'm here to answer all, every single one of those questions because a lot of you guys are, that are watching this video are unaware of this news and some people are unfamiliar well, of what i'm going to talk about in today's video but if you guys don't know, don't know yet japan expo has been cancelled and this is pretty bad and i know a lot of you guys out there that are watching it right now may be saying bro how is this bad what's this got to do with kakarot what this got to do with dragon ball in general well i'm going to go ahead and explain that to you guys so i'm going to put it on screen you can pause it i'll also put a link to it in the description below so you guys go check it out the information is actually from dbz db dbz.com it's a very very good source for dragon ball news if you guys are unaware of that but anyway i'm going to go ahead and answer all the questions you guys may be asking for this and some people out there already know about japan Expo, but i'll try my best to explain it so Japan Expo for us in the West is pretty much like E3 if you guys are unaware. E3 is a thing as many of us already know is where new games get announced in, out in the West and also new console get dropped, you know, brand new information for games. We all know E3 this year has been cancelled due to the, you know, the outbreak. So now Japan Expo which we were all expecting to get later this year in July. Um, has now been cancelled and this is very very bad because Japan Expo for, like I said is E3 for in Japan and it's very very big for anime games and you know Dragon Ball games in general because that's where we usually find out the latest Dragon Ball games um, news and anime for Dragon Ball Super the manga all that crazy stuff and like I said Japan has two main um, events similar to us in the west they had Japan Expo and also jump festa now that's one of the main one i really wanted to talk about in this video with japan expert being now now being cancelled a lot of people right now in the community a lot of people around the world right now especially if you're a big fan of anime kind of worried about you know japan uh, about jump festa being cancelled because jump festa is expected to be um dropping um around december this year because every single year in december we get jump festa and add jump fest for us <clears throat> Just to make it easier for you guys to understand, John Festa is also like um, Comic Con for us up out in the West. Like I said, Japan has two main events: um, Japan Expo and and um, and John Festa. And for us in the West, that will be translating to you know E3 and Comic Con. But anyway, with John Festa now being the last main big events that's left, that has a very high chance of being canceled. And John Festa for me in general my opinion for me is probably the one i'm looking forward to the most because john festa we usually get some really really big major news for dragon ball games and also dragon ball super um information if the anime is coming out next year now with japan expo being canceled for next year um 2021 there's no set date at the moment into 2021 that is going to be dropping maybe early but maybe the might stick to the date as july next year but going to uh to um john festa i mean to, uh, sorry guys going back to um joe john festa this very very could be has a very high chance of of john festa being canceled because like i said the outbreak is very very serious and a lot of big problem going on around the world you know so they don't really, they really don't have so that many people in the same area especially in such a confined space they could get you know infected by this outbreak so I think right now, by the looks of it, with Japan Expo being cancelled, there's a very high chance of um, John Festa also being cancelled. Because if John Festa is still going, we could find, we could get an announcement for the next Dragon Ball game. And also with jo with um, Japan Expo being cancelled, that means news for Kakarot and all the brand new Dragon Ball game. We might not be seeing that anytime soon, and if we do, that that there's very high, there's a very low chance we could see that at Jump Festa. I really don't know, but in relation to what this got to do with Kakarot, well, as many of you guys are unaware, right now we should be expecting the uh, jump, the um, V Jump skin sometime this month. You know, Dragon Ball Hype already confirmed if it's delayed, which is looking like it's already delayed, we could be seeing that later this month, which is the 21st of April. That's when we are expected to be getting this V Jump scan for Kakarot confirming the DLC news. And right now, we also don't know when the release date for this DLC is going to be. Many people are speculating it could be early May, like myself, and it would make sense. 
but right now we really don't know anything all we have to do now is wait for the you know the v jump skin for this so like i said a lot of stuff right now in 2020 is being canceled now the big one is jump fest i mean japan esper is now canceled the only thing that we've got left to look forward to now is jump fest stuff finger crossed they don't really cancel that i really hope they don't but anyway let me know what you guys think about this news in the comment section below because this is a really really bad problem i don't you can't blame them for that everyone's trying to stay safe so this is a big problem let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below how do you guys feel about this but anyway hope you guys enjoyed today's video my name is jot saying i will keep you guys updated on the latest news have an amazing day i'll see you later guys peace out